at the moment, if you are wounded, if you are sick, if you are unwell at home, you can't leave your house. As simple as that. And this is unacceptable. So since Saturday, intense fighting broke out, starting in the capital, Khartoum, and then spread to other parts of the country. That has been a tremendous impact for the population. First of all, of course, many people got wounded. At the same time, people got trapped, so they took shelter where they were at the moment. People cannot go out to get food, basic needs, and especially, of course, they cannot access healthcare. We've seen many health facilities being closed or shut down. At the same time, this has impacted also on infrastructure. We have part of the capital and other cities that have lost electricity, water supply, and so on and so forth. So this conflict obviously had a tremendous impact also for our team and our project. We have been looted, for instance, in Niala. Our office was looted, our warehouse was looted. Uh, our team were stuck at home. So in some of our facility, of course, the population cannot access and therefore we have seen less patients coming to the hospital. There are less hospital functioning and some indeed are running out of supplies. They are demanding a support, but we can't provide that support because it's not safe to move at the moment. And of course, safety and security of the team remained our priority. At the same time, for instance, in El Fashe, we received wounded and we assisted part of the population that was impacted by this conflict. For the population, it's essential to seek health care, to have safety and security. At the moment, if you are wounded, if you are sick, if you are unwell at home, you can't leave your house. As simple as that. And this is unacceptable. It's unbearable for the population to withstand this. We can and want to do more, but to do so, we need better safety and security for the population, a medical professional and humanitarian workers. Mm -hmm.